The following is an ESG video brief. Hi, I'm Jason Buffington. I'm the principal analyst at ESG covering all things data protection and availability. Too often in life, and in IT, and in data protection, folks believe that they should be thinking in terms of or, meaning this or that. But in reality, most folks really ought to be thinking in and. To appreciate that idea in terms of ensuring data availability, consider the range of servers in your environment that have differing SLAs and business criticality today. Even among high priority servers, there are different SLAs. 7% have absolutely no downtime tolerance at all. 22% have a downtime tolerance of 15 minutes or less. Another 22% have a downtime tolerance of up to an hour. Collectively, over half of the high priority servers in the environment have a downtime tolerance of an hour or less. For the servers that are less than an hour, you can leverage snapshots for rapid recovery and replicas for survivability, all of which should be underpinned by modern backup. And certainly backups and snapshots and replication all complement each other. In fact, right next to those is the next color of the data protection spectrum, availability. But availability isn't a thing either. There are different mechanisms for availability that address the range of hour or less, 15 minute or less, and truly zero downtime scenarios. Most high availability mechanisms, in general, are designed for when you measure acceptable downtime in minutes, meaning more than zero, because most of their architectures have similar characteristics. When the VM or application or data service goes down, it restarts someplace else. When you do that, a few things happen. Data loss uncertainty. There can be and typically is data loss between an active and passive nodes due to replication latency across the affected storage arrays, servers, or hypervisors. Boot time uncertainty. Passive instances are dormant until needed, so they have to boot up like any other VM. Application start time unpredictability. Transactional applications, those using like a real-time logging combined with a database file, will often have unpredictable restart times as the logs are replayed forward or backward to return the database to a consistent state. Simply put, many third-party availability mechanisms can yield the kind of unpredictable responsiveness during failover that might be seen as someone had just gone up to a production server and unplugged the power and then restarted it in place. In this case, one is restarting a near-current clone of VM somewhere else and experiencing the variabilities associated with that action. What if you used hardware platforms that didn't incur even minutes of downtime because the platform itself had fault tolerance down to a component level built in? You could still run Windows Server or VMware hypervisors or whatever. What if you simply had a better hardware platform to run your hypervisor and therefore your important VMs on instead of commodity servers requiring two nodes to deliver IT availability? This is what Stratus offers with its FT solution. Don't change your hypervisor because VMware doesn't know it's running on a better hardware platform than commodity servers. Don't change how you manage your VMs. Most of your VMs can and likely do run on generic hosts but the really important VMs should run on natively fault-tolerant hosts instead. And oh, by the way, you won't have the data loss caused by replicating data between hosts. You won't have the boot time uncertainty of waiting for the VM to come up on the other host because it didn't go down in the first place, nor did it have to move to another host. And that negates the application reconciliations as well. ESG recently published a brief on how Stratus, and VMware are better together. Go check it out. I'm Jason Buffington for ESG. Thanks for watching.